Hi everybody, it's Martha Longhi coming to you on Friday, August 2nd. Uh, just wanted to say hi. Um, I posted a video earlier this week that had my weight loss results, so um, don't necessarily want to go into that so much as um, I wanted to just maybe make a little video uh, to give you guys some thoughts about some stuff. So there's a group of ladies that I follow that I watch uh, pretty religiously on YouTube and we're all in our weight loss journey and um, there are some things that I've noticed and some of them are struggling a little bit more than others some are having more success um, but I, I just wanted to talk about the things that seem to have been helping me and see if maybe that would be helpful to the rest of the ladies out there that are um, doing the same thing you know that I am which is trying to get healthier trying to be uh, slimmer and make better choices in, in what we put into our bodies. So my take-home message really for you guys is um, to try to stay away from the processed foods as much as possible and that really has been one of the most important things that has helped me in my journey. Um, I pretty much have always eaten kind of not so great, um, you know, a lot of processed foods, a lot of fast food, um, you know, Big Sweet Tooth had a lot of problems with eating sweets, specifically at night, which just packed the pounds on. And since I have been committed to making this change in my life, and I have cut out all that stuff and really focused on eating whole foods, it kind of just started off with um, making smoothies for dinner. And that's really what started the whole thing. Um, I started making smoothies for dinner, found that they made me feel amazing and that I started to lose weight as a byproduct of that. And the smoothies that I make um, have at least four green vegetables in them um, and about four or five frozen fruits. Um, for the liquid I use either coconut water or uh, almond milk or a combination of both. Uh, sometimes I'll put a little splash of a fruit juice in there if I'm, you know, want to do that but it's primarily coconut water and um, almond milk and the fruits and the vegetables and believe it or not that has really made a huge huge impact on not only my weight but my overall health my energy level my ability to cope with stressful situations I mean eating whole food just does wonders for you it just it does and for all of my friends out there that are struggling with weight loss take a look at what you're really eating because it's not so much about the calories and the fat content and this and that you know if you've got a label to read that goes through all that stuff you're eating something that's processed because there's no labels on apples there's no labels on broccoli or asparagus or salad greens you know that's the stuff you guys need to be eating. Right now it's summertime. Most of the country has great produce available. You know, go out there, buy two or three watermelons, chop them up, have them prepped in your refrigerator in little plastic containers where you can grab one when you're on your way to, to work in the morning or where you want to grab something, you know, to eat when you're out doing your stuff and you don't want to stop and, and pick lunch up because, you know, when you stop to pick lunch up, you might end up going through a drive through or you might end up going and getting something that in the end you really didn't want to eat, but you, you stopped because you were hungry. So if you carry stuff with you that you know you can go to when you're hungry, it makes a big difference. But I really, really want to emphasize this to you guys. Eat more fruit. Eat more vegetables. At first, if you're like I was, the idea of eating that is really unappealing. It's like, eh, I don't really want that. I want, you know, a ham sandwich or I want a piece of pizza or whatever it is that you're craving. And it may not, it may not come naturally at first because it, it doesn't come naturally at first if you've been a processed food eater most of your life. But as you begin to put it into your body, within, I'd say, a week of me making smoothies for dinner, and that's the only change I made at that time. I was still, you know, not eating breakfast, only having coffee, running out the door to get to work, uh, and then having whatever I was having for lunch, which, you know, some days was good, some days was not, some days was just crap, total crap, you know, bag of chips, something to drink. 
Um, but I, I made that change just on that one meal, on making the smoothies for dinner. I, I selected dinner specifically because evening is when I would binge. Evening is when I would just nonstop eat because I had not eaten properly throughout the day. And so in the, in the evening, you know, at night, my body was starving. And, and no matter what I put into it, I still felt hungry. So I kept on eating and eating and eating. And that made me gain a lot of weight. Now, now I, after I come home and I make my smoothie, I have my smoothie first. An hour or two later, I might still, I might have a little bit of hunger. I'll eat some watermelon or I'll cut up an apple and I'll have the apple, you know, or sometimes my husband likes to make stuff, you know, he's decided that he can't handle gluten anymore. So he kind of started taking gluten out of his diet. And so slowly but surely we have begun to take gluten out and have replaced it with products that, that are gluten free. And uh, one of the things that he's discovered is these gluten-free pizzas, processed but gluten-free, because, you know, I haven't been able to get my husband off of processed food completely, but he, he's doing a whole lot better. He really is. Anyway, one of these things is uh, a gluten-free pizza, and he tried a bunch of different brands because some of them didn't taste great, some of them didn't have the texture that he liked, but he found a couple of products that he really liked, and so every now and then he'll throw one of those pizzas in the oven because, you know, the smoothie's not enough, and he'll have a couple slices of that, and, you know, it works out fine for him. He's not craving stuff anymore like he used to, and I'm really not craving anything. I mean, I used to eat cookies and cake and ice cream like it was going out of, you know, out of business, like, like I was never gonna find another piece ever again on this planet, and now, I can be around it and I don't want it because now when I look at a cookie or a piece of cake or ice cream, I see the ingredients that go into making that. If you look, think about what you're eating when you're having a cookie or a piece of cake or ice cream, you're mostly eating sugar and fat. And really, if you had a bowl of sugar and a bowl of fat sitting in front of you, would it, would it be that appealing? I don't think it would. I know it wouldn't be that appealing to me. But if you had a couple apples, some sliced up, you know, uh, watermelon, maybe a cantaloupe, some bananas, grapes, that would look really good, wouldn't it? It would look rather appealing. Strawberries, blueberries. Do me a favor, girls. Go out this weekend and get, go to your local farmer's market, you know, pick up as many fruits that, as you can. Even stuff that maybe you don't even know what it is. Try it. You might like it. Make yourself a big fruit, fal a big fruit salad tomorrow for lunch, Saturday. And see how you feel. And try having a smoothie for dinner. And uh, let me know. Let me know if, if you start to enjoy, and even, dare I say, crave, whole foods. Give it a try, you guys. If you're struggling with your weight and what you're doing isn't working, the calorie counting, the calculating of fat and everything else, give it a try, okay? I really want you to try this because it has made such a huge difference in my life that I just know that for some of you out there, it could make a huge difference for you. So please take a, take a try at it, okay, you guys? Um, sending you lots of love, encouragement, and uh, wishing you a ton of success, all right? Happy, happy, happy weekend. All right, guys. Martha Longy, out. See ya.